The stars are right, and that means it's time for another episode of The Whisper in Darkness. I'm your host, the man from Lang. Thank you very much for joining me today. Welcome, everyone, to the stream. Today we are playing Winifred Habermock, the new rogue investigator who was released in the... Uh, who was, well, announced, not released yet, who was announced in the Investigator Starter Decks. Uh, there are five new investigators coming out later this year. Nathaniel Cho, Harvey Walters, Winifred, Jacqueline Fine, and Stella Clark. If you haven't had a chance to check out uh, the uh, stream from Wednesday, we uh, went through uh, the investigators as well as their player cards. Today we are going to play Winifred. Now this is, uh, we are going to be playing... Uh, not her deck. Uh, we're using her investigator card and some of the cards from the pack that were spoiled. Uh, in particular, the uh, Mauser C96 and Nimble, as well as her uh, signature weakness and her uh, signature uh, uh, card, Anything You Can Do Better, which is pretty simple. I don't have the image for it, but uh, it's pretty simple to remember. It just has six wild icons on it. And uh, same with her uh, signature weakness, Arrogance. It has one uh, wild icon on it, but it counts against uh, your uh, against your total instead of for it. And once you fail a skill test, uh, you can discard it. So we're going to play a... Uh, Winifred is the succeed by two uh, investigator. She's built around that sort of mechanic. So I've put together... A deck that uh, will hopefully show that off and we will see how we do. We're going to start off by playing the Path to Carcosa. We're going to start off with a Curtain Call. Then we will probably take a ch uh, crack at... Uh, at uh, um, now I'm blanking. Untamed Wilds from the Forgotten Age. And finally, uh, if we have time and if things haven't uh, dragged on too long, we will... Uh, dip our toes into the circle undone with the witching hour so lots of uh, games ahead hi byzantium uh, welcome to the stream hope you're uh, staying safe over there in uh, in italy before i get started i want to uh, thank the patrons of this channel for their tremendous support i'm going to move over here so we can see their names uh, these people have gone above and beyond to uh, bring you the uh, content that i do for the arkham horror lcg a special welcome to the two latest patrons. Uh, Rossifer uh, signed up here recently, and uh, I just got a notification this morning that uh, Jacob Nutzler has also uh, become a patron of the channel. Thank you very much, uh, both of you, for your support. It's uh, fantastic. Uh, really uh, warms the heart, especially in these uh, trying times. So uh, again, thank you uh, to the patrons and everyone who turns out uh, for these streams. I enjoy doing them quite a bit, and it's great to uh, interact with everybody who shows up. Welcome, uh, Juicy. Welcome to the stream. Glad you could make it today. We are playing uh, Winifred, and so uh, I think we're set up. Let me check here. We are set up and uh, ready to go in Octagon. We'll take a, we will take a quick look over here at our deck. Uh, unfortunately, the deck got shuffled, so it's going to be kind of difficult to, to uh, see it here. But we've got uh, Intel Report. We've got a couple copies of Narrow Escape, which has the two, uh, two agility skill icons, and it gives us plus two skill value. We, uh, I decided to go with, I'm, I mean, the best rogue, uh, probably the best rogue uh, ally in Leo De Luca. We have a couple copies of uh, Nimble, the new skill that will be coming out in uh, Winifred's pack. For each point this skill test succeeds by, after it resolves, you may immediately move to a connecting location to a maximum of three times. That uh, could come in very handy here at the uh, at the uh, at the uh, curtain call when we have to chase around the uh, chase around the. Oh, Andreas, yes, thank you very much for your for your support. Welcome, uh, Deck Excelsior Podcast. Uh, glad you could make it. We've got the uh, the Derringer, f uh, 41, Der 41 caliber Derringer, as well as the uh, the Mauser. Uh, flashlight, Cheap Shot, Lucky Cigarette Case. Uh, we've got a couple copies of Hard Knocks. Uh, Daring Maneuver, of course, that's uh, one of those Succeed by Two cards. Uh, opportunist, which is uh, succeed by three at level zero. 
And uh, what else do we have here that's special? Uh, quick thinking for an extra action, if we can pull it off. Here is the, uh, the Mauser C96, uses five ammo. Uh, it, uh, as an action, you can exhaust it and spend an ammo to get to fight and get plus one combat and deal plus one damage for this attack. And if you succeed by two or more, you can either ready the Mauser or gain a resource. And I believe we've got unexpected courage as well. Uh, here is our signature weakness. It's just a, basically a blank card. We know what it does. And uh, uh, anything you can do uh, better as well. And uh, we've got a couple copies of Watch This. So generally just uh, good stuff rogue cards with some uh, succeed by two stuff thrown in. We will uh, hopefully see... Uh, We'll see if Winifred can, uh, how she can do. I don't think her weakness is all that bad, as I mentioned during the uh, the previous uh, stream. It's basically you just need to fail a test to get rid of it, so it, it's costing you an action at worst, um, and you can take an invest a basic investigate action to uh, to get rid of it if you can uh, happen to fail it. So, in my experience, the uh, Succeed by Two uh, deck archetype is a little... It's not super great at, uh, at level 0, just because uh, you don't have Opportunist level 2, which is very, very good, and you don't have a lot of the key rogue cards like Lockpicks, which makes Succeeding by Two uh, very easy, especially when you've got a 5 Agility and a 3... A three intellect, so you're lock picking at eight. That's a pretty easy way to succeed by two, and we don't have that at this level. So uh, that's a bit uh, that's a bit unfortunate. And it's also uh, like cards like uh, Lucky Cigarette Case are fantastic, but you need to sort of get them out and get the card draw. Now I think Winifred is going to mitigate that uh, somewhat because uh, her ability. She has the free triggered ability. If you uh, if two different non weakness cards you control are committed to a skill test, you can draw a card. It says nothing about succeeding at that skill test or failing. You just need to commit two different cards, and uh, and go from there. Hi, Halo nine nine eight. Welcome to the stream. I am good. Yes, I have uh, not in quarantine yet. I still have a job, fortunately, even though that seems uh, a very day to day thing, but. Uh, We'll get through it. Uh, we haven't; they haven't locked down all the businesses in my area, so you can still go out and pick up uh, essentials if necessary. And her uh, elder sign effect is plus one, and after this test ends, for every two points you succeed by, return a card you committed to this skill test to your hand. So, sort of like uh, an opportunist effect uh, thrown in there as well. So, uh, very good stuff. We shall uh, hopefully she will uh, she will uh, work her magic here. Now she does have one uh, one willpower, which is a huge. Uh, I probably should have thrown a guts in here just for this particular scenario, uh, but uh, we don't have it uh, because that one willpower is going to be a bit of a liability. Yeah, that's uh, it's going to be tough, juicy. She's. Uh, um, yeah, I, actually, I might have to take out some cards just to place, put a Guts in. Uh, what could I, what could I substitute? Um, we've got the one weapon. She's more of a, she's more of an evasion character. Um, hmm. I think we'll take out. Yeah, there's not a lot of great options. There's a lot of cards. I'm gonna take out. Well, that's probably. I mean, that's gonna be central to her deck. I think. Um, let's take out one narrow escape and one of the derringers. We're going to add two copies of Guts here, just because I think we're going to need a little bit of help in that department. Just so we're not failing things terribly. And then
then we can uh, we'll be ready to go. So we'll add a couple cards. I mean, it may that's the thing with a, with a one willpower. It's like you're pretty much going to fail most of the tests. It's it's just any willpower test you take. It's mostly about mitigating mitigating the damage that you're going to that uh, you're going to take. We have not drawn a weakness. Yeah, she does. I mean, we are. If you do commit a guts, she and something else, she does uh, get to draw a card. So that is uh, that will be helpful to keeping her hand stocked. We have uh, not drawn a weakness, so let's do that now. See, uh, see what we're gonna get in, in the weakness department. We are starting with indebted. Wow, that's a. Uh, I draw indebted so often. Uh, David, I'm going to do a bunch of one-shots, I think. We're going to do uh, Curtain Call, then we'll do uh, Untamed Wilds, and if there's still time, we'll try, we'll try the Witching Hour to try a bunch of different campaigns, see how she does. We may swap some cards in and out as we go, depending on uh, how she performs. It's a, uh, we don't know her full deck list. We do know some of the cards in her deck, but um, the one card I might swap in is, uh, is um, Opportunist level two, but we'll see. So of course we start here at the theater as usual, and uh, we shall, uh, we shall go after the man in the pallid mask and see how we do. Let's, uh, since we don't have a, a weakness in our deck, we might as well just draw and see how we do. So our first hand with Winifred is going to be... Yeah, the second get... Yeah, it would have either been in... It would have been overzealous or indebted, one of the two. So we've got an unexpected courage, a derringer, a daring maneuver... Uh and anything you can do better. Uh, I'm gonna keep her signature card and the Derringer. The Intel report is pretty good too, and we'll, so we'll, com we'll mulligan the Unexpected Courage and the Daring Maneuver. We need a, f well, there's another Intel report, and we get a Mauser. So we get uh, a couple weapons and a couple of uh, Intel reports. And her uh, signature uh, card, Anything You Can Do Better, which has six wild icons on it. So we're going to need to, boy, it's going to be, uh, yeah, we can just draw, that's true. We're going to need to draw some cards here because we, uh, we don't have a flashlight and we don't have the resources really to play the Mauser and uh, in Intel Report. But we do, we can use it for, we could use it for, uh, we really want to play Intel Report for four resources to discover two clues. So it may just be a perception in this case, but that's okay. Let's get our actions. Let's get Winifred into the, whoa, 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 go back there. Let's uh, get Inif Winifred into the air, I think as our first action. Now we could end up with some rats, but we're uh, a three. So let's move to the uh, the th uh, backstage. A three uh, three shroud location with one clue, and we have to put two set aside backstage doorway locations into play. So we will do that uh, now. This is just regular curtain call. This is not a return to curtain call. Uh, I'm not sure it would matter too much because uh, curtain call can be very uh, challenging as it is. So, especially when you're playing a new investigator. All right. Well, we are at a three shroud location with one clue, so I think we will take our first investigate action now. If we commit something, we want to commit two. Unfortunately, we just have two intel reports, which isn't going to do us much good. Um, hmm. 
I think I want to save the anything you can do for a willpower skill test. I think I'm going to draw a card here. Let's see if we can't pick up a... There's a hard knocks. And... A guts. So we picked up a couple cards. We'll have a full hand this turn. We go to upkeep. There is our uh, weakness, arrogance. So we are going to be committing that to skill tests uh, going forward until we can get rid of it. So uh, we're going to get to see how it affects us right off the bat. So that's nice. We've got uh, her signature skill and her signature weakness uh, right off the bat. So we'll get to see how they do. Uh, it's the mythos phase. We will draw a card, which is going to be whispers in your head, doubt, secretly ask it, add it to your hand. You cannot play events. Okay, and we're in this bad spot here because this uh, whispers counts as uh, extra card slots. Whispers counts as three. find a good spot for my for the chat here I'll just go there so it counts as uh, three cards instead of one so we don't want to stay here or we're gonna have to dump a lot of our hand so I think what we're gonna do is we will move Uh, I have a feeling just by looking at the, you know, if you want, cards with double icons are nice, but you sort of want, if you're committing two cards, you want a, I think you want a bigger spread on her, on her, uh, her icons. Uh, so you're getting, so you can commit the two, because Intel report is great, but I want to be able to commit two, and I can't commit two of the same. So I think we're going to leave this location because that's bad news. Uh, let's see how we do here. It is the rat room. Three shroud location with one clue and uh, we have to search the uh, discard pile or encounter deck for, for a copy of rats. So let's look at all the cards, find ourselves some rats and uh, I guess we'll get busy trying to kill them. Hi, Tribulations. Welcome to the uh, stream. Glad you could make it. So we get some rats. So we are going to have to... Uh, attack the rats and commit the arrogance, which counts as a minus one. So we're going two versus one. Chaos Bag says... Skull, that is a minus one. So we do succeed, but we have to bring the arrogance back to our hand. So the rats die, that's the good news, but uh, we have to bring the arrogance back. I'm going to take another action to uh, investigate. We're going to go straight up three versus three, and we will commit the arrogance again, and we do fail that, so the arrogance is gone and that deals with our weakness. All right. So we have to discard something. We've got two copies of Guts, two copies of Intel Report. I think we'll ditch the Derringer because we've got the, uh, the Mauser. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm not liking the icon spread so far. I think if we're if we're going to be committing stuff, we want a little some different icons, but we'll see. We go to the mythos phase, and we draw. Oh, gee whiz! Uh, whispers in your head, dismay. You cannot commit skill cards to skill tests. Oh, geez. Well, that we've got to get rid of that for sure. So let's get rid of that. Uh, that's two actions. Boy, this is gonna. This is not a uh, a great start. Uh, we have one action remaining. 
Uh, let's commit the we can go five versus three if we commit the Intel report or we can spend two resources just to grab that clue. Uh, I think I'll just grab the clue with two resources. Uh, it's an event. I can't play events. That is a problem. So we'll have to just commit it. Uh, so five versus three. Do we have another um, intellect skill icon? We don't. We get a zero, so we do grab this clue. All right. So we have our first clue of the game. First clue of three. Uh, we draw a quick thinking, so that's nice. That's got one, one wild skill icon, so we can commit that as well as, say, an Intel report and uh, get ourselves uh, get ourselves some uh, cards. We go to the third Mythos phase. Three of six, we get a Descent into Madness. If you have at least three horror on you, lose an action. We don't, so that'll just surge. Into a Rotting Remains. Here it is. We knew this was coming. Uh, so we can commit... Uh, let's throw our guts and an anything I can do in there. So that is eight skill icons. And we get to draw a card. And if we succeed, we get to draw another card. So we are nine versus three. Chaos Bag says zero. So we succeed. So we get, we drew one card from Winifred's ability. And then we draw another one due to the guts. So we get two copies of Cheap Shot. Wow, the deck didn't get shuffled very well. So we dodge our first Rotting Remains. Uh, I would really like to get rid of that Whispers in Your Head Doubt. But I think what we're going to do... Uh, I'm going to get rid of it now, because I want to go back to this location. And that's our turn. Those things chew up your actions like it's nobody's business. And we pick up Opportunist. All right, another good card. Works well with uh, Intel Report. We can uh, commit both. We'll pr and then we get a card and possibly the Opportunist back. Uh, we are going to the Mythos phase. Four of six. We're going to need to get that Mauser down here sooner than later to deal with uh, our friend, the uh, our friend, the Royal Emissary. We get a poltergeist. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Cannot be damaged by spells, relics, or encounter cards. We have to test three to attempt to banish it. All right. Um, test three intellect. So let's... We have Intel Report and Quick Thinking. That would put us at 6v3 for one damage. Yes, uh, Tribulations. This is a, a zero XP deck. Three, uh, six versus three. We draw a card and get an action if we succeeded by two. Um, or we can just evade it. Uh, 5v4. Um, I guess we could. Uh, we 
could fight it with cheap shot, we'd be eight. We wouldn't deal any damage to it, but we would if we succeed by two, we would get away from it. Uh, that seems like a better plan. Uh, but it costs us two resources, which is a problem. Hmm. See, the, the question here is, is this backstage doorway, does it have the clue we need or does it not? Because if it doesn't, the poltergeist here on this ba on the backstage would be a real thorn in our side because we'd have to crisscross the table a couple times. So is it better to kill the poltergeist now? Problem is we don't have a ton of good cards to commit to this. Um. Hi, Vern. Welcome to the uh, stream. We are playing Winifred uh, Habemach, and why is it not Stella Clark? Well, we don't know what Stella's signature asset and uh, or signature event or weaknesses are. So it's tough to play her because we don't know uh, what she has in store for us, but uh, we do know Winifred's, and we've already played both her signature event and... Her signature weakness, both have we've already seen play, so her signature uh, skill went a long way to uh, to getting rid of a uh, rotting remains. Just trying to decide what to do about this poltergeist. It's tough to evade, tough to kill. I feel like I need to get rid of it. So let's commit our intel report. Uh, so we're going to go, we'll commit the quick thinking, so we'll draw a card, and I think I'm going to commit the opportunist as well. So we're going three, four, five, six, seven versus three. Chaos bag says minus two. So we do succeed by two. We were seven versus three, so we're uh, five versus three. So we parlay with it and deal one damage. We don't get the opportunist back because we did not succeed by three, but we do get the additional action from uh, quick thinking. So we have an additional action. Unfortunately, we don't have any way to... Uh, we're just going three versus three now to kill it, or five versus four to evade it. Um, hmm. I think we go... If we evade it, then we can move up here and see what we have to deal with. I really need to know what this location is. So let's evade it. Let's go 5v4. Um, or we can play a cheap shot, which would make us go uh, 8v4 or 8v3. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll spend the two resources to fight. We're not going to deal any damage to it, but we are going to go 8v... Uh, 8v3. Uh, Chaos Bag says minus one. So we do succeed by two. So this sucker is evaded. We have two actions remaining. I'm going to use one to go up here. Uh, we'll flip that over. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. It is the dressing room. So 
we need this clue and then we're going to need one of these clues over here probably the balcony uh, so we can move back and then we will uh, engage uh, this thing when it uh, readies so we get a copy of nimble that's pretty nice um, that could move us very quickly along but we need to grab this clue before we go anywhere We go to the mythos phase, six of five, or five of six, sorry, and our encounter, oh man, this is the third one of these. And you cannot move more than once each turn. So we have the nimble, but uh, whispers in your head, uh, dread, nixes that idea. Um, so what, we got a lot of things we need to do here. We're gonna have the royal emissary out here. So we need our Mauser to fight this thing. What's his evade? He's only a two. I mean, we could just keep him on the table, but we're gonna take a lot of horror unless we can stay away from him. Uh, Cause it's, he's next to you. Connecting location takes one horror. So if he comes to the He's going to spawn at the theater. Uh, what do we do here? We want to... We want to evade or kill this thing. We need the Mauser if we're going to kill the uh, the Royal Emissary, but we could just evade him. If we can stay away from him and not take the horror while we grab the clues we need, that would be helpful. And then we could set up a kill uh, later once we're ready to get the man. Um, and we need to get rid of Whispers in Your Head Dread, because that's going to chew up our movement pretty badly. So, we've got lots of things to do, and uh, only three actions to do them in. So, um, Spell, Relic, or Encounter card, yeah. So we're going to have to go 3v3. And I don't have anything to help me. So we'll try to parlay with this thing. Oh, I forgot. I should have put fine clothes in this deck. What was I thinking? Stupid. Um, 3v3. Chaos bed gives us a skull. That's a minus one. 3v3. Chaos bed gives us an elder sign. So plus one. And after this test ends, for every two points you succeeded by... Return a card you committed to this test to your hand. We didn't commit any cards, but we did succeed by one. So this poltergeist is gone. Okay, what are the odds of us grabbing a clue here now? Not great. Uh, I think I'm going to drop my Mauser here. And it has five ammo. And that's going to be our turn. Hopefully we will draw into something that can help us grab this clue. An unexpected courage would certainly help. We go to the mythos phase. It is turn six, uh, six of six, so we will flip this over, set aside all the cards in the victory display, uh, search all set aside cards in the, and the victory display for the royal emissary and spawn it at the theater. So he is there, and we're going to have to kill him at some point because we need to reset the agenda. Uh, the Mauser... Yeah, the Mauser's not... Uh, she's better at evading for sure, so she'd be... 
She's a four versus four. Yeah, we're not going to succeed by much. Let's grab this. Uh, actually, we need to draw an encounter card before we do anything. Another rotting remains. Okay, so we will commit the guts. And that's all we have. So let's commit the guts. Uh, we're just going 3v3, unfortunately. And we get a plus one. Look at that. Wow. So we do actually uh, pass the Rotting Remains. That's the second one we've passed. And we get a card out of it, which is a Watch This. Watch This is very nice in this deck, I think, because it's got three, I mean, it's got three different icons on it. So we can commit that and uh, draw cards. It doesn't have a Intellect skill icon, though, which is uh, really what we need at this point. So we're going 3v3 to grab this clue. We also need to uh, either kill or evade this guy. Um, hmm. If I grab this clue, oh, 3v3 though, that's just not, not good. Uh, we can go 5v3. Five 5v3 five for the clue. Chaos bag says minus two. So we grab the clue. That is a relief. We will move in. Now we have the choice of shooting the Royal Emissary, which is not likely to happen. Uh, 4v4, and we're not going to succeed by 2 for sure. So let's evade him. We'll go 5v2. Um... Five V two and we could zip away up to the balcony if we play nimble. Uh five V two We need to succeed oh no, but we can only move Whispers in our head dread blocks that plan. Um, hmm. If we get hit, we're going to take two damage. Five. Yeah, let's, uh, let's attack him. So we'll attack him with the Mauser. We're going to commit the cheap shot and a watch this. So we get to draw a card. There's a daring maneuver. Uh, so we're going to succeed by... Actually, this might help us quite a bit. Uh, so we can watch this. If we spend three resources, we need to succeed by one to gain twice that many resources. Let's throw all our resources on it. It's a bit of a risk, but we do have the Daring Maneuver in our hand. So we are going uh, three, four, five, six, six V four. Chaos Bag says, minus two uh, so that gets us we succeed by uh, six v uh, six v four 
we are 4v4, we succeed, we can play our daring maneuver to succeed by two, so we get six resources. And we can another we can gain a resource or ready the Mauser. So we will gain another resource from that since the Mauser is exhausted. And he has two damage on him. Okay. So during the enemy phase, we're gonna take two damage and a horror. And then we're, we get Leo. Glad we got that. Watch this off. Wow. It's going to be very handy. Can we do it again, though? Um, I mean, we could evade him, drop the hard knocks, and pump the Mauser to kill him. We may have to do that. 1v6. Our encounter card is a Spires attached to your location, then place two Doom on that location. So there is two Doom on the theater, and Spires. Uh, if you succeed. So we can just, if we kill this guy. The spires will go away. So that's okay. So what we have to do here is beat up this guy one more time. Kill the royal emissary if we can. So let's go. Uh, let's try to evade him. 5v2. Chaos Bag gives us a zero, so he is evaded. We're going to play our Hard Knocks. Then we're going to shoot him with the Mauser. So we are at 4v4. But we've got our hard knocks now, so we can go 5v4, 6v4. Chaos Bag says 0, so we do shoot him. Uh, we were at 6v4, so we gain a resource or ready the Mauser. So let's gain a resource. Uh, this guy is gone. So we reset uh, the agenda. So we remove those two Doom, and Spires is gone. Uh, remove all Doom from play, then reset to Agenda 2A. With three Doom on it. All right. And that's the end of our turn. So we dealt with the Emissary. Uh, we get an Unexpected Courage. Now we've got enough resources to play Leo next turn, which is nice. We go to the Mythos phase and we will draw a Rats. So 3v1 to get rid of the Rats. We get a minus one, so the rats are dead. Second action, we'll play Leo. So we get that action back. We need to get rid of this whispers in our head. 
because that's preventing us from moving. So that'll take our turn. But we've gotten rid of three of the four uh, whispers in your head so far this game. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, so we still have three ammo. That's good. Uh, we draw another copy of Nimble, which now becomes useful because we can move more than once. We go to the Mythos phase, five of six, and we draw Twisted to his will. If there is no Doom and play, Twisted gains Surge. I don't know. I don't know how I always draw Indebted. It's just, it's like that is my signature... Uh, it is Man from Lang's signature weakness. Indebted. Um, if there is no Doom in play, Twisted to his will gains Surge. Otherwise, test uh, Willpower X, where X is the amount of Doom in play. Well, that's 5v1. Uh, looks like we're discarding a card at random. We sure are. Random discard is a nimble. So that went about as well as we could have hoped. All right, we have four actions remaining now because we've got Leo in play. Uh, we'll go to the lobby. Four shroud location with one clue. And when the lobby uh, is revealed, we put the two lobby locations into play. That is not a lobby, that is a lobby, and that is a lobby. All right, so with any luck, we might actually be able to uh, advance this turn. Uh, so we will move again up to the balcony. Two shroud location with one clue. Uh, and uh, but it is not connected to this thing. So when the uh, uh, balcony is not connected to the theater, so we're not going to take the horror from the uh, from the emissary when he returns next turn. Uh, it really depends where the man in the pallid mask shows up. Because if he shows up over here at the dressing room, trap room area, we're going to have to go back. If he shows up here, we can deal with the royal emissary, grab the man. We're going to have to kill the man twice, though, probably. Uh, so we're going 3v2 for one clue. Chaos Bag says Elder Sign again. So we've drawn two Elder Signs this game, and neither time we uh, we had cards committed. So her her skill is just a plus one. But we do get this clue. All right. Uh, we might as well advance. We've got our three clues. We advance. Choose one of the set-aside locations at random and put the uh, put that location into play with the man in the pallid mask. Uh, we want to make those visible to no one. We will shuffle these up. Yes, this is this is standard curtain call. Ah, shoot! So he's at the backstage. So we're having to we're going to have to trek back over. We're going to have to head back on over to uh, I forget what the name of that location is, but it has the one clue on it. So. Um, I guess we could evade the mat, the, the, the guy. I think this might actually be okay, because this is a very low shroud location. 
if I remember correctly. Um, so we might be able to investigate the man the first time and then kill him the second time. And then we have to put aside uh, one of the random stranger uh, acts. So let's do that. It's going to be this one. And that is all. All right. Well, we can move. We could move to the theater. So here's what I'm thinking. We move to the theater. We take the two damage. Move to the theater. We evade the royal emissary using Nimble to get, and that Nimble, if we can succeed by at least two, we can head over, we can get to the backstage in one, in one action. Then we part, we investigate to deal with him and then we can uh, deal with the. Uh, we can deal with uh, the royal emissary, and then hopefully deal with the man in the pallet mask. So we're going to take two damage. So we will move to. We will jump off the balcony. Leo will. Uh, we will fall on Leo's body to let him take one of the damage, and we will move there. And uh, we will be. Hi, Daryl. Welcome to the stream. Glad you could make it. We are in the middle of curtain call with uh, with uh, Winifred Hamamok. Habamok. Habamok. There we go. The uh, the first Native American uh, investigator. So far, so good. Have to say, I sort of see some uh, areas where her deck where her, I could improve on her deck building certainly I'm sure this is not the uh, starter deck that we will be that will be uh, coming out this is just my my probably very poorly tuned version of a deck uh, hi sageless one welcome to the stream uh, so we will uh, we've got a second copy of Leo which is got a an intellect skill icon, uh, which I probably want to save because we're either going to have to kill the uh, Winnie got wings is what I will call. It. I'm kinda, yeah. I wish she had an airplane. I mean, it's not really thematic to have an airplane in the middle of a of a theater, but. Uh, we are going to draw a card, and it is a Spires. Oh, no. Uh, sorry, we had to advance first. Then we draw a card. Spires changes things a little bit. So the Royal Emissary comes back. And then we drop a Spires on the theater. It has two doom. And that is gonna be our that is gonna be the mythos phase. Now this is kind of a pain. Attach to your location. So we're at two of six already. If we evade nimbly. we can get here in one turn. Whoops. Uh, we can go... we'd have three actions. We investigate, we have two actions. We run back so we can kill this guy. Yeah. 
so we're going to commit a nimble. So we'd be going 6v2. 6v2 is pretty good. So we commit nimble. We're going 6v2. Chaos bag says plus wow. The chaos bag has been like a my friend this game. Plus ones and elder signs all over the place. So we do pull off the nimble. We get uh, we succeed by a bunch, so we can move three locations. So he is exhausted. We go boing boing over here. Yes, it is a one shroud location, indeed. This is the rehearsal room. It's worth a victory point, but uh, I don't think we're going to get the clue here because we need to head back and deal with uh, the emissary. We're going to take a horror to do it, but that's fine. All right, we need to investigate here. Uh, so if we investigate, uh, we'll be going 3v3, but we can go... Uh, unexpected Courage, Leo, draws us a card, we get a hard Nox, so we're going 3, 4, 5, 6, V3, 6, V3, Chaos Bag says, Elder Sign again, wow, this Chaos Bag today is, this game has been Three Elder Signs, two plus ones, wow. And we get to trigger her ability for the first time. So after this test ends, for every two points you succeed by, return a card you committed to this test to your hand. So we were three, four, five, six, seven V three. So uh, we succeed by four, so we get both cards back. So good. Look at that. That's a nice Elder Sign. So we pull an Elder Sign, and uh, we we get to bring Leo and Unexpected Courage back to our hand. Uh, super good. We are, uh, we are uh, investigating the man in the pallid mask. We are using his investigate action. So uh, we, uh, instead of discovering clues, he has been defeated. And we drew an Elder Sign when we did it, so we get Leo and Unexpected Courage back, so we could try that trick again. I know, Nate. I know. I don't... I, I'm drawing super well today, for some reason. Maybe because I'm not playing with you. Maybe we know my other signature weakness is Nate, Lost in Time and Space. Uh, a signature ally weakness. Sort of like the... Uh, Who's that guy? The the detective? I'm gonna, I'll have to make a... I'll have, maybe when I make my signature man from Lang Investigator, he'll have two signature weaknesses. One will be indebted and the other will be Nate lost in time and space. And they all... And, and Nate uh, adds a second tentacle to the bag or something like that. So we have two actions remaining. Uh, we have to advance. <laughs> uh, okay, so it's the Shores of Holly. Instead of discarding the man in the pallid mask, move him to the lobby. Uh, and then we add two elder things to the bag. So we add two of those to the bag, and then we go place one horror on each private location. 
that's private that's private that's private we don't uh, that's private that's private nothing else is private okay uh, so we add oh this is the good one for her uh, so on until the end of the scenario, horror on locations re represents flooding water, and each location with horror gains force. When you would leave this location, test two agility. If you fail, take one damage and cancel this move. Limit once per round. So uh, we will... Uh, So we will put that into play beside us, and now we just need to defeat, uh, we need to resign by getting rid of the man in the pallid mask again. So we need to zip back over to our friend, the, uh, the royal emissary here. So we're going to move, so we're going five. I really hope so, five V, five V two or I take one damage. Uh, the Elder Things are minus fours now, though, uh, so we're going to want to commit something to that, I think. So we go 5v... Uh, 6v2. Chaos Bag says minus one. So we leave that... Uh, no. Nope. That. So we move here. Then we can move here, and we're back where we started the, the turn. So we're not, if we can kill the Royal Emissary this turn, we can move in and uh, deal with the Man in the Pallid Mask next turn. We draw a watch this. Uh, we do take a horror because we are at the uh, Royal Emissary's location. I mean, the other option, if I'm not playing for VPs, is just to evade him, move in, and go for... Yeah, Nate, I have Leo on the table. Leo. You know, the best ally. Uh, so, we need to do six, though. That's pretty tough. Six v four, six v three. Uh, we don't really have. Hi, Doovies. Welcome to the stream. Glad you could make it. We are playing Winifred Habamock. We are uh, closing in on the end here of Curtain Call. We need to deal with the uh, Royal Emissary and then the Man in the Pallid Mask, and we can resign. So far, the chaos... I think the story of this game has been the extremely kind Chaos Bag, which has been uh, really, uh, really kind to me this game. Uh, we are in the upkeep. We drew a watch this, so let's go to the, uh, so when does this happen? At the end of the round. So there's a horror here and a horror here. So as long, as long as we can move this turn, we don't have to worry about the rising floodwaters anymore. Uh... So we will draw a card, which is going to be a fanatic. Revealed location with the most clues. Okay, so he shows up. Uh, there are two locations with one clue, so he will show up way over here. And that actually helps us because he snags that clue. And we get a VP out of it. So that that's a very fortuitous pull on our part. So we drop the uh, fanatic at the rehearsal room. He grabs the clue and gives us a VP. All right, nice. Uh, so we've got 
two, three VPs so far. If we kill this guy, that'll be four. Uh, no, five. So that's pretty good. We do have to kill him, though. Uh, so we have to succeed by two on our attack. How are we going to kill this guy? That's the question. Three, four, five, six. Six v six. Hi, Lograk. Welcome to the stream. Glad you could make it. We're going 6v6 to... We'd be going 6v6 to clear the man in the pallid mask. Or we engage him and try to kill him, which is going to be slightly tougher. Uh, but we do have a second Mauser in our hand. Uh, the other option is to engage the man in the pallid mask and drag him up to the balcony. but we do need to get rid of this guy because Spires is in play. All right, so we've got to kill this guy first. Uh, I, think, I think that's what I'll do. I'll probably try to drag the man in the pallet mask up to the balcony and do it that way. Uh, so we're going to go... We will use the Mauser to go 4v4 four v, four v four. We're going to commit a watch this to go 5v4. We'll put one resource on it and spend two. Or no. Uh, this is a problem. Let me think about this for a sec. Um. We need to succeed. If we're going to kill the emissary this turn, we need to succeed by two, which is going to be tough given the chaos bag is up to. We've got a bunch of minus fours floating around in there now. Um, I may have to use the unexpected courage and the watch this. Where does that put us at? That puts us at four, five, six, seven v four. We can go eight v four. Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking. I want the draw. We get a lucky cigarette case. That's not not helpful. Uh, we can put, so we're at three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight v four. Chaos bag says minus three. That's a bad, bad draw. We still succeed by one. but we don't succeed by two, which is what we really needed. So this guy takes two damage. And 
we get four resources. But we don't get to ready the Mauser. Hmm. I guess we spend another turn here. Uh, we can evade him as our second action. Uh, 5v2. Chaos back says minus one, so he is evaded. Uh, Leo can take the horror for us to keep us below that three horror threshold. Uh, we've seen both our weaknesses, so we can just draw. We've only got seven cards left in our deck. Um, we draw. Kill the emissary next turn. Then move in and deal with the man, I think, is what we have to do. Yeah, but the the problem is is the spires here. Uh, the spires is adding two doom. So if anything screws up in the grabbing the man, moving to the balcony, um, the balcony is going to be a tough tougher test now too because I only have Leo. So I need to draw into something that can help me pass that test. I feel like it's my better option is to take the horror. Leo can take a horror, we kill the emissary next turn, then we deal with the man in the pallid mask when we have a little more time. So I'm going to draw two cards. We get an, a quick thinking, which is good, and a flashlight, which is good. So we got a bunch of uh, intellect skill icons we can use. Uh, we're going to have to dump a ton into that fight action, but... Uh, what can we do? So enemy phase, Leo will take a horror for us. Uh, we will go to the upkeep. We get a daring maneuver. It's a wild icon too, so very nice there. Lots of wild icons to help us deal with the man in the pallid mask. So end of the round, I think everything has got the flood is uh, the flood is in full effect now, and we will go to the mythos phase. So we have four of six doom in play. Encounter card is going to be spirits torment. Uh, that's kind of annoying, but not fatally annoying. We have to lose an action or take a horror. All right, we get our four actions. We need to kill, so we kill this guy with our first action. We'd have to take two actions to get to the man in the pallet mask. Yeah, okay. This will this will work, I think. So we will exhaust the Mauser. Uh, we will shoot the Royal Emissary. So we're going four v four. We will spend. We'll use four resources to go eight v four. Versus the uh, Royal Emissary. Chaos Bag says Elder Thing, so good thing we used the four. Uh, we used that four, because we're going to take a horror anyway. So if your location has at least one horror on it, take one horror. So we take a horror, but we do kill the emissary. 
but we don't get to ready the Mauser, but that's okay. So he goes away, Spires goes away, the Doom is gone. Uh, this resets back to the uh, What did I do? Oh, I put them in the wrong put them in the wrong deck. Okay, so that resets and we add three doom to it. Okay. So that worked out alright. Uh we need to move away. So we're gonna go five V two. And it's going to cost us two actions. Ah, there's the auto fail. So we fail that. Uh, okay, so that was our second action. But this is only limit once per round, so we can just spend two actions to move to the lobby. And we don't take any more from Spirit's Torment. All right, so far so good. We get another flashlight. Now all the uh, now all the intellect icons are coming. We go to the upkeep phase. We get another fanatic. Unfortunately, he shows up where we are. Uh, that's too bad. Uh, but I think we can still... We can get rid of him. Uh, so we kill, engage, move, defeat man. I believe that's the plan. So first action, we exhaust the Mauser. So we're going 4v3. Uh, five v three, six v three. 7v3 I really want to go 7v3 is fine love to get the extra action here 7v3 chaos bag says skull that's a minus 3 uh, so if we succeed uh, we can play our Daring Maneuver to succeed by uh, 3, so we get the extra action from Quick Thinking. Uh, we can gain a resource from the Mauser because we succeeded by 2. This guy is dead, and we get his clue. Hi Lucas, welcome to the stream. Glad you could make it. Despite the quarantine, I hope you are well as well. I hope everyone out there is staying safe. So he is dead, and we get an action back from quick thinking. So that is pretty nice. Uh, now we will engage the man in the pallid mask as an action. We will move, we will try to move, 5v2, uh, 
5v2, we will commit the Mauser to go 6v2. Chaos bag gives us a minus 3, so we pass. We have two actions remaining. We will try to investigate and defeat the man in the pallid mask. So we are at uh, 3v4, 5v4, 6v4, 7v4. And we get to draw a card, which is a narrow escape. So we're going 7v4 to get rid of the man in the pallid mask. Chaos bag says minus two, so we pass. So the man in the pallid mask is defeated. Now we can resign. Now we can move back to the lobby. And, well, we can try. We're going five, we'll go seven. 7v2. We get another elder sign, which is 8v2. So we get the narrow escape back, and we are back at the lobby. And we can resign and win next turn. As long as we don't die this mythos phase. We get our second lucky cigarette case. We go to the Mythos phase. We draw a Poltergeist, the second Poltergeist of the game, but uh, it matters not because we will simply resign and uh, win. So, Winifred conquers Curtain Call. Uh, we conquer Curtain Call. We end up with five victory points. And yeah, that went, uh, that went about as well as we could hope. I was a little worried when we drew that first... Uh, we got off to that bad start where we drew three of the four whispers in your head. We had to do... We lost a ton of actions use, uh, dealing with those. Uh, but then we... Uh, we managed to get rid of the poltergeist. We had to kill the uh, royal emissary twice, but we uh, had enough icons to do it. And then we had uh, we had just enough icons to drag the man in the pallid mask up to the balcony, throw him off the balcony, get back to the lobby, and then resign. Chaos bag was very nice this game. It did give us a lot of plus ones and elder signs. Only one uh, auto fail, which is uh, if you've been watching my. Uh, my streams you know that is pretty rare um yeah i i do uh she is she is good uh the only thing i would i think i would want to change about the deck is that it needs sort of i like two icon cards but i think she does better if you have cards with a lot of icons on them so you can can you can get that card draw going uh the uh I ended up in a couple situations there where I could not, uh, it was tough to commit two cards rather than just one. Uh, so I think if you have cards that have more than like two or three icons on them of different types, then you're in a better position to commit two and get that card draw going. But we did pull off that one elder sign where she, uh, we committed Leo and the the unexpected courage pulled the elder sign and got to take both of them back because we succeeded by four. So that was uh, that was awesome. So yeah, she she's a rogue who beat curtain call. What more can you say? I mean, that's pretty good in its own right. So uh, low willpower aside, we did uh, rotting remains never touched us once because we played uh, anything you can do better which is six icons, so she easily passed that. And the second one, we drew a plus one. So we uh, succeeded there as well. So let's, uh, let's try a different, uh, let's try a different, uh, a different scenario. Um, 
let's see here. We want to load up a different Winnie deck. We want the Forgotten Age version. Yeah, you really need to get the draw to replace the cards she's spending. If you're not getting the draw to replace the cards, you're going to be uh, in trouble, I think. I like Lucky Cigarette Case, but I never seem to get it in time to get it to work, so... There's always that. So let's load up... Kurt, um, let's load up... Uh, Untamed Wilds. Yeah, we're playing we're playing multiple games. We may even play three if there's enough time. We'll see. So we've got the expedition camp. We've got our friend Alejandro, of course, and Ichtaka. Uh the and then the ruins go away. We are not playing this with uh with any uh, sort of yeah, lockpicks. I mean, lockpicks is great in any rogue, but in a succeed by two rogue, it's pretty uh, pretty essential. So picking up five XP during curtain call is very nice. Like the lockpicks would be uh, an automatic pickup, I think. So I think we'll say that we have the map as one of our uh, as one of our. Uh, as one of our uh, supplies. And we will go from there. All right, let's draw a sign uh, another weakness here. Will it be overzealous? Will it be indebted? It will be paranoia. So slightly different this time. We'll lose all our resources if we uh, draw that. Let's draw our opening hand and see how we do. We get a cheap shot, an unexpected courage, a daring maneuver, her weakness, and a Mauser. Uh, we get a hard knocks instead. I'm going to keep the hard knocks and the Mauser and throw everything else. There's paranoia. And of course, we get a cheap shot back and a daring maneuver back. So as it always seems, I mulligan into cards that I have uh, I have mulliganed. So for this playthrough, we're, we are just going to assume that we have the map and that will be our only supply. So I think we're ready to go. Uh, no, it doesn't do these. I didn't put the upgraded manual dexterity in. It's just a level one, a uh, level zero deck, so. We're, uh, we're just seeing how she does, uh, in her, as close as we can get to what we know her, what's in her deck. Uh, so first action, let's let's use the map to look at the top three cards of the exploration deck and place one at the bottom and two on the top. So we have the circuitous, circuitous trail, the thorns and a snake bite. Snake bite can go at the bottom. We will put the path of thorns on top. Uh, let's do it one more time. So we will look at top three. See if we can't get two. Yeah, arrows in the trees goes on the bottom. Well, we got rid of two of the, uh, and then we'll, we'll go explore. So we end up here at the Path of Thorns. One shroud location, or three shroud location, one clue. So we will need some help to investigate there. We do have an intel report though, if we want that clue without risking the investigate. We draw a quick thinking. 
We go to the uh, first Mythos phase of the game. We draw a Viper. Well, well, well. We will be evading said Viper. Um, 5v3 to evade. We get a zero. Viper evaded. Uh, we can go... We can spend two. I think I'll play the intel report here to grab this clue. Yeah, Path of Thorns sucks so bad uh, for that. It put us at the Stream or Serpent's Haven. But we know that we've got two at the bottom. Uh, two of five are out of the way, so there's still three. Yeah, not a bad start. I'm just trying to decide whether I intel report here and then explore and risk it. I guess taking a damage here isn't the worst thing in the world rather than heading back to the expedition camp. So let's play the intel report. Uh, to grab a clue. And then we'll go explore. So we know the circuitous trail is on top. And we get an overgrowth. Damn it. All right. Well, that... Uh, uh, played that and then explored. So... You can unexplore at attached location. That's fine. We can head back to the expedition camp. Uh, and go that way. Enemy phase, the Viper comes back. And we draw Watch This. Two of six. We draw, oh, for frick's sakes. Okay, we've got Vipers up the wazoo now. I guess this turn is evade, evade, move. Um... Let's gain some resources, though. Let's evade the first one. Uh, we're going to dump all our resources into... Watch this. So we're going to go 6v3. Uh, actually, we'll go 7v3 for a card draw. Get an opportunist. 5, 6, 7v3... Um, I'm going to go 8v3. We'll commit the opportunist to. Oh, for... F oh. Trump the chaos bag, and then I draw an auto fail. That was painful. Well, that sucked. 5v3. Chaos Bag gives us a zero. Uh, 5v3. Chaos Bag gives it. Why couldn't I draw a zero when I needed a zero and an auto fail on one of those? That's what I want to know. So that hurt. That uh, was a very unfortunate. Uh, Auto fail. Um, we lost a lot on that one. So we'll have to do it again next turn. Try to get away. And we get this guy. Who's going to be here. 
See, this is what I was hoping. I was hoping to evade these two, move here just in case I draw this guy, then he's out of the way, right? I, he doesn't he doesn't spawn. Uh, 5v3, we get a minus 1 to evade the first viper. 5v3 to evade the second viper. And we move away. We're going to take a damage, but uh, there's not much we can do about that. When enemies attack during the enemy phase, if Etsley Guardian is ready and unengaged, it attacks each investigator in each connecting location. So he doesn't attack me here. He only attacks you if you're at a connecting location. Okay, that's fine. So he can sit there. Am I reading that wrong or? Uh, these have to go back in the explore deck. So he does nothing to us, which is fine. And we draw Paranoia. Okay, well, I guess better now than later. But he's aloof, Dare BK. So he's not engaged with me. Yeah, so he just sits there. That's fine. You can just hang out for a while. Uh, we draw a snake bite. F testing 5v3 to avoid the snake bite poison. All right. We get an elder sign. So we're too quick for snake bites. Uh, we should probably do some setup here, although uh, we have no resources. Uh, actually, we should have one resource because the paranoia triggers after. Resources generation is after card draw, so we lose our resources and then we get a resource back. <laughs> but we can't play anything, so let's go explore. Uh, we get uh, lost, uh, low on supplies, so we either take a damage or lose two resources. Uh, I guess we'll lose our resource. So that goes away. Uh, let's explore again. There's Serpent's Haven. Unfortunately, we need the bridge or the creek. We draw an arrow from the trees. We take a damage. And we will explore one more time, I guess. Uh, we've got the map. We might as well be using it. Let's set up a, there's a river canyon, circuitous trail, lost in the wilds. So let's put the lost on the bottom. Uh, so we'll do that. Okay, so we sit and suck our thumb here at the uh, expedition camp. We draw hard knocks. Five of six doom, and we draw another arrow from the trees. 
so we take a damage. Haven't accomplished a whole hell of a lot yet. Let's explore. Um, well, if we explore, yeah. Um, so we explored the River Canyon. I put it down here. So we get to the River Canyon. Four shroud location with one clue. We really need a flashlight or something here. Uh, we don't have a ton of investigate in this deck, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to explore again because I know the circuitous trail is next and we can stay away from this... Uh, from the Etsley Guardian. One shroud location, one clue, but we've got to spend three resources to investigate there. Uh, we really need some sort of flashlight or something. There's an unexpected courage. I guess that will work. trigger. We draw a lucky cigarette case. Helpful, but not... Uh, well, that's card draw, but we need to succeed by two to be doing that. And we need... Uh, three, four, five, six... Six v four. If we succeed, we daring maneuver. We get a, we get a card. Hi, Robert. Welcome to the stream. Glad you could make it. We are playing Untamed Wild with Winifred Habamock. After finishing up uh, Curtain Call with Winifred. Uh, yes. So we're going to advance. So we shuffle the encounter discard pile and the set aside agents of Yig into the deck. Shuffle that up. Uh, what else do we have to do? Each investigator tests three willpower or we are poisoned. Uh, three versus one, eh? I really don't want to be poisoned. But I don't have a guts. I guess we're just going to have to take the poison. Oh, we get a plus one. Look at that. Two versus three. If I'd committed one card, we would have done it. Uh, so we are poisoned. That's fine. It's just a one shot, so we're not, uh, we're not worried. So I think what we'll do... I'm going to play, we need to draw into some stuff here, so I'm going to play the Lucky Cigarette Case as our first action. Then we're going to move into the River Canyon as our second action. We're going to commit, we're going to go three, four, five, six with quick thinking. And we get a card, which is another lucky cigarette case. 
So we're going 6v4. Chaos Bag says minus 1. So we'll daring maneuver that up to 7v4. So we succeed by 2. So we get an action back. Uh, we gain a clue. And we get a card. Okay, so we did lots of stuff there, but we didn't get any more uh, any more investigation. Uh, we are one clue away from... Did I draw an encounter card? I feel like I didn't draw an encounter card. I did not. All right, let's draw an encounter card first. That may change, may change what happens. Uh, we get a voice in the wa voice in the jungle. So if we do not successfully explore, we take a horror. All right. So whatever happens stands. We've got two actions remaining. And so we could explore. We could try to find our way to Serpent's Haven, although Serpent's Haven, when you're poisoned, is awful. Um, the other question is, how are we going to deal with Ichtaka? Three v four to parlay with her. Killing her is not a very good option. We would need to be a lot more set up than we are to kill her. Um, I'm going to move back to the circuitous trail and draw a card. There's a flashlight, okay. That, um, we can get to the rope bridge from here. Uh, so we will add, we did not uh, investigate, so we take a horror. Or we did not explore, sorry, so we took a horror. All right. We draw a cheap shot. We go to the mythos phase, one of nine, and we draw another low on supplies. This time I'm going to take a damage because we need to keep our... We need to keep our resources here. So if we go to the rope bridge, we're going to be taking damage from this guy again. Um, man, this is a weird playthrough of this one. Just sort of unable to really get going. Uh, so we will move. Uh, so what do we do? Hi, Peter. Welcome to the uh, stream. Glad you could make it. We are in the middle of uh, Untamed Wilds after Winifred successfully conquered Curtain Call with uh, 5 VP. So she's uh, done. She did very well in Curtain Call. Uh, touch and go with her for a while, but she did very well. And now we're sort of struggling in uh, Untamed Wilds. We managed to avoid all these pit vipers. But then we're kind of, we haven't drawn into any investigation, really. And uh, so that is a bit of a problem. So we're going to take another horror unless we either get rid of this. We don't have the way to get rid of uh, Voice in the Jungle. I think what we'll do is we will in, we'll explore. There's only three cards in the exploration deck? Really? Serpent's Haven. 
Ah, we drew a snake bite. Now they're f f three cards, and one of them is a. Ah, too bad there. Okay, so we're testing five versus three. Uh, five versus three, Chaos Bag says auto fail, so nothing we could have done there. We take a direct damage. Uh, not doing all that. Thanks, Peter. Have a good day. Uh, let's explore again. And we draw the weak. Ah, frick. Yeah, we're just not getting anywhere in this one. Uh, test three for each point if you fail by, we take a horror. So 3v1, and we don't have... Um... Let's pitch the lucky cigarette case. It just doesn't it doesn't do enough. We've sort of ended up with a bad bunch of cards in our hand that aren't helping us. I uh, guess we'll go th three horror. We're gonna take four horror. Um. I guess we're just mitigating. 2v3, maybe the Chaos Bag will be generous. Or not. Or not. It will just give us a minus 2. Or just auto fail us. So we take 3 horror and we can't move anywhere. So we take another one. So we're at 5 horror all of a sudden. Um, this has not gone well. Let's draw a card. There's Leo. But we just don't have the re We haven't gotten the resources. We haven't gotten... Uh... There's an intel report. Okay. But again, that's costing us. Two of nine, we draw an arrow from the trees. So we take another damage. Five of eight. Uh, this is gone. Uh, so I guess we will... I guess we will explore. So we know it's Serpent's Haven and the Rope Bridge, but we got the Rope Bridge. One clue there. Um, man, I hate that I'm going to have to use that Intel report to pass Ichitaka. But the voice in the voices in the jungle is, or voice of the jungle is going to kill us long before that happens. Um, well, we don't take a horror from voice in the jungle this turn. We will take a damage from the guy, though. When can we advance? Round ends. Uh, let's play the flashlight. And then we will investigate. We will flashlight the rope bridge to give us zero, and we pass by one. Uh, so we get this clue. 
Enemy phase, we take a damage from the Ensley Guardian. Upkeep, we draw a narrow escape. Mythos, three of nine. We draw a Viper. Uh, actually, we could have advanced. I would have advanced. So let's do that, and then we'll draw the Viper. So we advance. Uh, we put aside, we spring Ichitaka in. And shuffle, oh, so we're going to get a different card. Well, that's nice. So we shuffle that in. And we're going to get a different encounter card because of that. Uh, whoops. Oh no, we're right. If Ichitaka is defeated in advance, if we place a clue on Ichitaka, we, we advance. Okay, so we're drawing a new encounter card, which is a Lost in the Wilds. That could just kill us. Um, and we have no, no, uh, yeah, so we're 1v3 and we're going to take 3 horror and we're probably just going to die here. Oh, we get a plus 1, so we uh, only fail by 1, so we take 1 horror. Uh, but we cannot move or explore. So the voices of the jungle, voice of the jungle will kill us if uh, Ichitaka does not. Wow, what a crappy game this has been. Just uh, not the hand I needed. Uh, we might as well try to at least clear Ichitaka because that gets us on to the next... Uh, that gets us on to the next thing, and then uh, I guess we th uh, we can commit a couple cards and draw a card, which might get us a Guts, which might help us pass the Voice of the Jungle, which might keep us alive. That's really our only hope. So we are going to go. We are 3v4. We will go... 5v4, 6v4, we draw a card, which is a Derringer, which is not going to help us. Oh, I didn't put Guts in this deck. Yeah, that's we need Guts. That's uh, 6v4 to deal with Ichitaka. Chaos Bag says Skull. That is a 0. So she is parlayed with. We add her to the victory display. And we get to advance. All right. Uh, remember, she is leading the way. We add a cultist token. To the bag. Uh, shuffle the three set aside ruins locations into the exploration deck. Boy, the exploration deck is empty, so, or it's only got one card in it Serpent's Haven, so uh, that's okay. Um, and that is all. So we just need to advance, but uh, I think unless we can clear the voice of the jungle, we die, and we have no we have no icons to help us. Um, I'm 
Yeah, draw a card for a watch this. That gets us to 2v3. But yeah, again, we just don't have the... 2v3, Hail Mary pass, and we get a zero. So we fail to clear the voice of the jungle and it kills us. Yeah, that wasn't good. Not good. But we didn't have a Guts in this deck, which we really, we really needed two copies of Guts. Okay. So the first game was a pretty good demonstration of what she's capable of. The second game was not a uh, very good uh, demonstration of what she is capable of. So let us... What time is it? It's one o'clock. Um, I'd like to try this one again, I think, rather than go to... Uh, go to uh, the witching hour. We'll try this one again here quickly. I'm going to turn 10. Uh, let's reset. I'm going to add guts to the her deck. Yeah, not a not a stellar performance there, but uh, so we wanted to uh, we want to we wanted to remove a copy of what did we remove last time uh, we're going to take out a copy of Hard Knocks and the Derringer. I drew both Derringers, of course. Uh, we'll add some guts to this deck. All right, let's try this again. See if we can't get a better a better handle on things. Let's uh, draw a weakness. We have hypochondria this time. So take in horror. See what our opening hand is like. Quick thinking, unexpected courage, anything you can do, Derringer and Nimble. Uh, I'm going to mulligan most of that. Opportunist, Daring Maneuver, Intel Report, and Nimble. All right, so our starting hand is her signature skill, which has six wild icons. We've got an Opportunist, a Daring Maneuver, an Intel Report, and a Nimble. Let us use the map to do some uh, exploring. Visibility nobody, shuffle, so we get overgrowth, rope bridge, and the river canyon. So we can put the overgrowth on the bottom, then we can go rope bridge, river canyon. So we will go, uh, we will explore. Puts us at the rope bridge. Two shroud location with one clue, and we just need to 
we don't have to worry about uh, investigate. We can just investigate here. 3v2 chaos bag says zero, so we get the clue. It's a bit better. Better start anyway. We draw a narrow escape. First Mythos card we draw is the Boa. The big Boa. That's okay, because we can evade the Boa easily enough. 5v2. Whoops. 5v2 Chaos Bag says minus 1, so the Boa is evaded. We want to explore, so we have to go 5v2. We pass, so we don't fall off the rope bridge, which is nice, and we end up at the River Canyon. Four Shroud location, uh, we want one clue. Uh, let's use our intel report to grab that clue, and that'll be our turn. Or do we want to? Because we need that to deal with Ichitaka. Problem is, it's a four shroud location. We need. Uh, let's draw a card. We get a Mauser. And we get an unexpected courage. Okay. Two of six on the, uh, on the good old agenda. We draw voices in the jungle again, voice of the jungle again. Um, hmm. We can easily get rid of that. Let's go three, four, five, six. So we'll commit the unexpected courage and the opportunist to go six v four. Uh, we get a card, which is a quick thinking. We get the elder thing. Uh, I did not. Juicy, thank you. Uh, so that's minus two. So we were six v four. We go four v four. Uh, we're not going to get our opportunist back. We needed one less. Three, four, five, six. Yeah. So we do get the clue, but we don't get. The, uh, the opportunist back, unfortunately. Uh, we can try to explore and get away. Uh, yes, we haven't reshuffled yet, so we get very lucky and get the Serpent's Haven. Two shroud location with two clues. Uh, we're not poisoned either, which is nice. And we will not trigger Voice of the Jungle this turn. Uh, so let's ex let's uh, do some more investigating. Uh, 3v2. There's the minus 5. 
no clue for us. We get our second copy of the Mauser. And three of six. We draw our Etsley Guardian, who can hang out at the expedition camp harmlessly. This guy moves here during the enemy phase. Uh, now we could play Intel Report for two clues, but then we'd have no way of dealing with Ichitaka. So I think what we'll do is we'll do some investigating. 3v2, that's a minus 3, that's a 0, we get a clue. And one more, that is a minus 2. So we fail twice, we did get a clue. Boa comes in. We take a horror, two da uh, damage and two horror. And we draw a Derringer. Uh, we'll get rid of one of our Mausers. We go four of six. I guess we could have advanced there, but uh, that's fine. We uh, draw snake bite, so we are going 5v3. Uh, let's go. Yeah, 5v3. We get a minus two, so we pass. All right, I'm going to investigate and play Narrow Escape so we can get a plus two on this skill test. We'll cancel the attack of opportunity by the BOA, so we're going 5v2. Oh, for Pete's sakes. Well, that seemed like a good idea until we failed. The auto fail gets us. Uh, we're going to have to evade this chump. 5v2. There's a minus 5. He doesn't have alert, does he? No. Let's evade him again. Two auto fails and a minus 5? Are you kidding me? Take a damage and a horror and another horror. Wow, that was a terrible turn. Uh, we draw a cheap shot, five of six, and we draw... Are there ancient evils in this deck? I forget. Anyway, we draw an ancient evils. So we advance regardless. So we shuffle... Uh, we're testing three willpower, so we'll throw our anything we can do better. We pass that with flying colors. Um, we're not poisoned, but we do have to add... Yeah, it sure is punishing me for curtain call. It's uh, it's really not. Uh, this has not gone. Neither of these games has gone particularly well. Uh, but we did. That was our turn. So. So we need to evade the boa. 5v2, 
That's a zero, so he is evaded. Skull is a zero. Yeah, good thing we evaded being poisoned here, because otherwise we would have been really... Um, again, I, I threw my anything you can do. I should have thrown it for this voice of the jungle. That's going to kill me again. 5v3 versus, or 3v2 for a clue. That is a zero, another skull. So we get that clue. Uh, there's no point to exploring. We can bring Ichitaka out next turn. Um, I just don't have anything to get rid of that stupid card. I've got a quick thinking and a daring maneuver, but that just gets me to, to even. I guess we'll draw a card and see if we can't get to... There's a watch this. That doesn't quite get us where we need to be, though. Uh, we draw a flashlight. Uh, we'll pitch the Derringer. And we go there. Next mythos phase, we draw Lost in the Wilds. Since we didn't explore, we had to take a horror last turn. Again, the uh, the willpower, the lack of willpower is killing us here. Uh, three v one v three. Oh, sorry. I wanted to advance. What am I talking about? I'm getting. I'm, I'm playing too fast. So, we would have spent three clues, which reshuffles the deck. Um, so she joins us. This goes back into the deck. So I'm playing too fast and making mistakes now. So we shuffled the encounter deck. She shows up. Let's see if we can't get a better draw there. We get a pit viper. And we've got uh, a ton of enemies here. Ah, oh, geez. Well, we need to deal with Ichitaka first. So we will use Intel Report, Flashlight, and quick thinking. Three, four, five, six, seven, V, four. And we draw a card. Chaos bag says minus two, so we drop to five V four. So we'll daring maneuver that up to 7v4. So we get the extra action from quick thinking. And we deal with Ichitaka. Uh, so we flip this. We add a cultist to the bag. We add a cultist to the bag and these three locations to the exploration deck, which is going to be full, just chock full of treacheries at this point. But at least our Etsley Guardian doesn't hurt us anymore. Or arrows of the trees. We've got three actions. Uh, we want to... 
problem is the Serpent's Haven is the best spot. Um, let's evade the Pit Viper, 5v3. There's an auto fail. Let's try again. Skull is a zero. And we try to evade 5v2, the boa. That is a minus one, two, three, four. 5v2, yeah. So we fail to evade against the boa, so we're gonna take another damage and a horror. And yeah, and then we die because of that voices in the wild. Yeah, voices in the jungle. So the lack of willpower, the lack of willpower really stomps us in untamed wilds. Let's go. I'm curious. Let us take a look here quickly. I think before we end for today, let us take a look and see what kind of options we have in terms of willpower cards for this deck. Uh, I think we if we just we'll just create a deck and see here. Doesn't really matter which one we do. Um, all right. Uh, is there a way to search by icons? Uh, there must be. So we definitely need. Yes, it's brutal to all of us. Yeah, that the uh, the lack of uh, the lack of willpower uh, really hurt us there. We, I thought curtain call would hurt us far more, but so what do we have? We've got contraband. That's not happening. Uh, Crystallizer of dreams. Crystallizer has a willpower skill icon. Would a Crystallizer deck work with with uh, Winifred? If we're playing lots of events, so it works well with Intel Report, obviously. So maybe Crystallizer. Liquid Courage. Lucky Cigarette Case, of course. Um, Tennessee Sour Mash. Yeah, maybe she needs some Tennessee Sour Mash to help her out. And Guts, of course. Yeah, I did add Guts this time. I just never drew one. I just didn't uh, I didn't get the right combination of cards to draw cards with her ability. Now, maybe what I should have been doing... Yeah, I think Tennessee Sour Mash... What I think I should have done is committed these to the uh, I should have been trying to commit these cards here to skill test let's see what we get we get an unexpected courage and a cheap shot so the unexpected courage might have helped us but still we're only going 3v3 we need the deck needs needs unexpected courage and it needs um, it needs guts, and then it needs a lot of cards that have willpower skill icons that you can commit, so you can churn through them to get uh, to get more uh, stuff. Uh, thank you very much, Artifacts, for the uh, for the subscription or for the uh, follow on uh, Twitch. Thank you very much for that. Uh, yeah, so not quite enough willpower. 
I'll be curious to see what her deck looks like. Um, I think it's got to have guts in it, or maybe they'll just go without it. But I, I can't see how you can go without it in in, a, in scenarios like this, where you get tagged by things like Voice of the Jungle. Um, trying to get, I mean, you need to get, say, at least two up. So you've got to commit two cards with two... A lot. You've got to commit a lot of willpower skill icons to that. Painkillers, that's a good one. Pipe. Yeah. Well, I think I'm going to end it there. That's three games. 1-1, one, one, lost two, but uh, the one we won went very well for her. So uh, I think it's just uh, the deck needs to be tweaked to, uh, to deal with that, uh, with its willpower deficiency. So I'm looking forward to seeing what her starter deck contains to see how it deals with that. Yeah, Mash would definitely help a lot. Uh, we'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll probably play a few more games with her offline and just see, uh, tweak, the, play around with the deck and throw in some different cards. Yeah, you're right, Doobies. There's, I'm sure there's going to be some sort of uh, some cards that haven't been released or announced that uh, help with her willpower deficiency. I'd be willing to bet on that. So uh, it'll be interesting to see. Thank you very much, Nate. Uh, thanks, everyone, for tuning in to today's stream. I hope that you enjoyed it. I certainly uh, enjoyed having you here amidst these uh, very uh, strange times in the world. So I am glad you were all able to tune in and uh, help me uh, do some barnstorming with uh, Winifred. I will be back. Uh, I'm not sure when or what I'm going to be doing next. I've got card reviews and everything to get done, so uh, we will be working on that. So uh, I hope that you will tune in on the next stream. Hey, uh, keep an eye on the Facebook groups and uh, Reddit threads because that's where I usually post. I try to post the day before I stream so you guys can uh, get the heads up and and, uh, and make it if you are available. So uh, my uh, final thoughts on uh, Winifred. She's, uh, I enjoyed her. She's fun. Uh, I think she's going to get... She'll be much, much better once she you put a few experience points in her because uh, Opportunist Zero is still uh, not a particularly... It's hard to hit that plus three uh, to really get it going. And I found the Succeed by Two mechanic is, is sort of fragile at level zero. So we'll see. We do not know her entire deck composition. So that will be... Uh, we have that to look forward to here in the summer. So until next time, I hope all of you uh, stay safe out there and healthy, and I will see you again here, uh, here on the Whisper in Darkness. So uh, thanks very much for tuning in. I will see you soon. That's going to do it for this uh, episode. If you enjoy what you hear, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you need to contact me, I can be reached at manfromlang at gmail.com. I am also on Twitter at manfromlang. If you'd like to become a patron of the channel, head over to patreon.com, sign up for a tier of your choice, and uh, claim your rewards. That would be awesome. Until the stars are right, keep your shotgun close and your elder sign closer. Take care out there, and happy investigating.